Welcome back everyone, this is a brief update about the gold market. Not much action was observed on gold's price in the past week as the precious metal could be waiting for further important developments from the financial markets in order to form a direction. This report will provide a brief overview of the most important drivers for gold's price and also our own opinion on where the metal could be heading in the next sessions. We make a start with the USD's activity as it significantly affects gold's price during the past week and according to the dollar index that monitors the currency's strength against other major currencies, the greenback was on the back foot after reaching a three-year high on the 20th of March. Despite the imminent correction that may have been realized on a pure technical basis, some financial data from the US released in the previous week may have disappointed traders. The US initial jobless claims weekly reading, which is not considered a very strong metric, became the epicenter of attention as the figure indicated 3.28 million people had signed up as unemployed. This figure was an all-time high, while after the release, the US could be preparing for the worst possible scenario in many decades. Gold's price reacted accordingly to the news and was up on the daily session. However, our opinion is that the market did not react to the initial jobless claim figure just because it being excessive. We believe that the data points to further economic deterioration in the US in managed sectors and that the negative impact from the coronavirus epidemic is just hitting the fan. Most traders will be interested on the upcoming release of the US employment report for March next Friday. The expectations at the moment are for the unemployment rate to rise from 3.5% to 3.8%. In any case, the unemployment report has traditionally been a big mover for gold's price and we would advise caution for traders looking to participate. Furthermore, are the small events from the US this week that could move the precious metals price include the ISM manufacturing PMI indicator released on the 1st of April and again the initial jobless claims figure expected on the 2nd of April. On a separate note, another fact that should be considered is the general market appetite for risk at the moment. Due to all the headlines surfacing the news websites regarding the affected people from the coronavirus, not much of risk appetite is left for traders to turn their attention to liquid assets like gold. Until the current moment, 777,000 people have been infected by the coronavirus across the world and 37,561 have died, according to Reuters. So in the past days, risk has been constantly on and off, which is mostly inviting the bears for gold's price, even though there is a great uncertainty overshadowing the markets that can lead to many unpredicted rallies. Also, in the past days, an outcome much unexpected was that the Central Bank of Russia, among the top gold buyers in the world, has announced it will be reducing its purchases. Not much information was provided for the reason behind this move, but it could be very possible that other assets may be preferred over gold for now. We close with a very simple comment that surfaces from our research. Many analysts believe that the financial markets have not seen the end of the roller coaster ride that included gold's price expressed in March. These fears could keep traders more reserved. Now moving on to the technical analysis and gold's 4 hour chart. Gold is currently trading between our R1 1634.10 resistance level and the S1 1584.90 support level. Please note that the price action between the pre-mentioned levels has been constant since the 24th of March. During this period, the R1 1634.10 has been tested numerous times, but was not clearly breached. However, above that level, there is also a possibility for the R2 1663 line, and even higher, the R3 1700 level to be reached. In a selling momentum, our opinion is that the S1 1584.90 will be tested first. Even lower, the S2 1553.15 line and the S3 1520 could also be tested as they were last seen on the 24th and 23rd of March correspondingly. The RSI indicator below our chart is currently running between the 70 and 30 level but leaning downwards. 
This could imply that the bearish momentum could continue for the next 4 hour session. We hope that you may have found something useful in this report which you can use for your trading. From all of us here at IronFX, best wishes for solid trading.